This lesson 7, we will talk about uh, mainly on sandwich construction and sandwich structural analysis. And this uh, video, hopefully we can uh, talk about sandwich construction, the definitions, and the purpose of uh, the face. Because the sandwich construction itself is mainly built by two faces. Alright, so this is the face. These are the faces. And you will have another core in between. Alright. So you have a core. Okay. Normally the core will be like honeycomb or whatever. Alright. So when you put the face and the core together, you will become a sandwich. And this is what it calls the sandwich construction. And therefore we are talk starting to talk about the definitions now. Alright. So in this video, we'll talk about this two first. Alright. So this part over here is slightly more um, so called tedious. So I'll leave it at the back. And therefore, let's start with the, the things on this video. So the sandwich itself, all right, by itself, there has a facing, that were, which we have shown you the two faces, and the core material, which is in between, okay? And the core separates the faces so that the second moment of inertia is increased, and therefore, the global strength stiffness of the section is also increased. What does this mean? The second moment of inertia, by default, is BH cubed over 12 for a beam. Okay, the the unit is not the unit. Uh, the the name is I. Okay, so the the largest your height. All right, your if you were to take a look your height over here, the the bigger you are. All right, if you increase the height, the you are starting to. It is pretty hard to actually bend this this material, right? If you were to uh, if I were to 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 so give you the example, I ask you to bend this thing as compared to bending this thing all right so this is more easier to bend right if you were to apply the forces in this direction all right you were to start to bend it all right but if you were to bend this thing is it's kind of a bit tough already because the thickness or the height over here is very very big and this is why the the core all right if you think about it your your sandwich is this is your faces all right these are the two faces all right this is the in inside is the core so the core itself increases the height of the whole sandwich and this is why it allows uh, good strength uh, to prevent any um, so-called bending or right, to, to help restrain any bending that, that will be occurring on the on your sandwich structure and this is why um, by increasing the the emo second moment of inertia all right the pH cube over 12 you also increase the strength stiffness of the section so you increase the strength stiffness of the section means that you will res you resist the bending more effectively, all right? You resist the bending more effectively, so it's easier for you to resist it, okay? And it it will be less less bending, okay? And therefore, this is the the thing you uh, you need you need to actually uh, memorize that the uh, the face and the core, all right? Uh, Alright, you need to memorize all this lot. It's quite straightforward now since you have understood things. And therefore, the next one is the facing. Alright, so now the facing, which is this face, alright, these two faces, alright, instead of the core, they are, I will be drawn in blue color. Alright, the blue color is the core. Alright, I'm talking only about the faces now. Okay, and the faces have all these uh, properties that you want to know. Alright, and to explain them, the first thing is that it resists in plane and bending loading. In plane loading means that on the faces itself, in plane, you're gonna resist the loading all along it, or right, any loading, okay? And also to prevent any bending, bending of the, of your particular face. So your face itself is able, must be able to also take in certain bending load, and since and. Of course, you know that the core itself will also be designed to take in bending load also because the height will increase, right? And therefore, this is uh, the, the sum of the things that you may want to visualize it, alright? And it requires height, and therefore it requires high strength and stiffness. Or high strength itself, to a certain extent, is also to prevent any scratches that occurs onto the surface, alright? So that there will be no scratches, and it can protect the core within itself. So the face is somewhat like a protection also, alright? and it must be stiff so that it will prevent any bending loading to occur okay hopefully this is pretty clear and also the high stiffness means what it means that you need a relatively uh, 
Wait ah, uh, is it a low low yang modulus? In order to be stiff, you need a high yang modulus material. Okay, so in order to be stiff, your yang modulus has to be high. Okay, and it must resist uh, local loading, meaning any loading at at this point or this point or all any any of the points. It must resist certain local local loading. That's all it is lah. All right, and must resist environmental. I think this is okay already. Environmental attack on the itself as well as the core materials. So environmental attack means that it's talking about corrosion. All right, so that it prevents any corrosion from happening. All right, you need to have a very um so called <coughs> good protection against uh, corrosion and things like that, and must have good adhesion properties because you're gonna adhe you're gonna stick together with the core. All right, the core is over here. So in order to to stick the your the face onto the core, you need to adhere. So you need to have a good adhesion so that the whole core, the whole material, the whole sandwich material, is similarly like a a, a one material. All right, because the 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 better the adhesion property, the the better it is of the whole composite itself. All right, so um the adhesion is very important. So take like, note of all this, and therefore this is about the facing. For well, this is it for the uh the the first part of our video, uh where we will talk about the sandwich construction definitions and the purpose of the face. So the purpose of the face mainly is talking about to protect the core, all right, and talking about high stiffness, or right, high strength, and um ab able to to take in loadings and bending loadings, all right. And the next video will talk about the purpose and types of core, which is quite a little bit slightly heavier. So. Yeah, see you there.